Hello and welcome to this episode on Inside Out. Today I got Angelo Matthews who just played the 100 test match and this is going to be a rapid fire Q&A. Usually we do have a chat with my guests but today it's going to be a rapid fire. Angie, first of all, congratulations. How do you feel about playing the 100 test match? match? Yeah, it's a great feeling to be honest. Uh, you know, it took me some time to absorb the entire thing but uh, yeah, I'm really happy, uh, uh, you know, getting into uh, um, an elite club, I would say. There's only five uh, players who've done it for Sri Lanka, and I'm extremely proud to uh, be a part of that um, uh, click. And also, first test in goal, same opponents. After 13 years, same opponents up in goal. Coincident? What do you say to that? Yeah, what a coincidence. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, when it was pushed back from Colombo to Gaul, um, initially it was supposed to be in Colombo, and uh, but when it was pushed back, I I was thinking uh, the same thing that you just told me. Uh, Debbie was here, hundredth match is here, and and also the same op you know opponents. So um, once again, it's a it's such a beautiful coincidence. It is. I mean, also we're talking about you said the hundred test match, and you said about six player, big five names in front of you. I know you went through a lot of hardship, especially with injuries. How proud are you of recovering from injuries and being being played hundred test matches? For Sri Lanka? Yeah, extremely proud. Um, I think um, I wouldn't have thought that I I will play 100 test matches in the past six, seven years the way I was injured um, on and off uh, the game, in and out the game. And uh, honestly, I just kept driving myself, kept training, and just didn't want to give up. And, 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 and with God's blessings, um, I was able to achieve this um, you know, amazing feat. Yeah, which is a great achievement. And also, this best, uh, special test match, you are different uh, when it comes to preparing yourself. I know you look very determined to score a big one, but unfortunately you couldn't. Did you do something different uh, preparing for this test match? Not really, no. I never do that. I mean, I, I prepare the same way I can, you know, I actually prepare for, for every single game, whether it's a test T20 or ODI. Uh, but this game was, was quite special because um, I was nervous and excited both. Um, it was, you know, as if I was playing my debut in front of my entire family. Um, a brilliant ceremony by SLC. I thank them as well. And um, hoardings, when you, you know, see yourself uh, around the ground, uh, it gives you, you know, butterflies. And also, my next question is going to be on your on your family. I, I met your wife. I met your kids. I met your parents. Did that have enough? or more pressure or just the expectations is higher? How do you react, react on that? Yeah, I mean, um, I've, you know, before this game, I've played 99 test matches and obviously, uh, you know, as I said, playing in front of my support system um, was fabulous and exciting. But at the same time, it was nervous too. I didn't want to get out for a duck. And also getting your 100 test cap from one of your idols, Chamin Dawas, who has mentored all of us. How proud are you about uh, that little ceremony as well as getting the cap from Chamin Dawas? Extremely proud. Um, um, you know, he was from our school. Uh, he was an idol for me. Um, I've looked up to him uh, when I was young and, um, and I still look up to him. The way he has played the game, especially being a fast bowler, playing more than 100 tests in the subcontinent is, is not an easy uh, thing to do and he has achieved that with tremendous success. And I'm extremely proud to, uh, you know, have got the, the the hundredth cap from him. I'm curious, as well as our, our viewers must be curious. What did he say when he gave, was giving the cap to you? Yeah, so he mentioned the importance of playing a hundred Test matches without dedication, without hard work. Uh, that I will never be able to achieve this feat. And he stressed on the importance of um, having that cap, wearing that cap with pride and um, you know giving your best shot as as long as you can and also Angie, i don't i know that you don't play white ball for anymore and i'm gonna know that you haven't given up yet if i ask you like this any preferred format from near onwards you want to play or you still see yourself of uh, playing all three formats going to the future yeah i see myself uh, playing all three formats still i mean if i keep up my fitness and um, you know obviously there's a world cup coming in in 2023, a 50-over World Cup, that is also one of my targets. But test is number one, as I said. Uh, we would like to have more test matches over the next 18 months or so because we only have seven or eight test matches and 
that's probably not enough. I know I understand the white ball. Uh, there are you know a couple of World Cups, uh, but still, Test cricket is important as you know any other format, and we shouldn't let it die. Individual targets. I know you want to make a comeback in the uh, white ball circuit. Test circuit, maybe 10,000 runs and more. Yeah, realistically, um, you know, if I keep fit for the next few years, I uh, might be able to achieve that. But I'll take one game at a time. I'll work hard on my fitness and, and obviously fitness and performance will play a major role. Finally, Angie, where do you see yourself in a few years down the line? Starting from now, I know you're 35, you're working hard, you're just looking slim as ever, fit as ever. A few years down the line, what are the real targets that you're looking forward to? Apart from uh, the cricketing targets, I think um, I still haven't thought about it. Um, you know, I'm just concentrating on a few years of cricket. And then I'll, you know, I want to take life simple. I'll just take it as it comes. I don't have uh, massive, massive goals, but in terms of cricket, yes, I want to give it a, a good try for the next few years. And then uh, we'll see what happens after that. And final thoughts, Angie? Anyone you would like to thank and say anything about uh, Sri Lanka cricket overall? Obviously, I mean, I, I should thank uh, the Almighty first uh, for, you know, blessing me and helping me to uh, play 100 test matches, which I, which I thought I've, you know, I could have never achieved. And my family, uh, my wife and the kids, my parents, my siblings, um, the coaches, SLC and um, uh, my school, after all. I mean, I've got all the encouragement and all um, uh, as a sportsman and also, um, uh, you know, education point of view, uh, St. Joseph's College have uh, given me everything. Um, and um, I thank all my coaches back then, the rectors, and also teachers and my friends, most importantly, uh, for helping me and being my support system. Um, I, th I thank all of them. Yeah, from my side, Angelo is a true champion and a great inspiration for many. The injuries that he had from the younger days, still not, not giving up, working hard as ever for fitness. This is the champion cricketer's future. Angie, I thank you so much for joining me as well as from Sri Lanka Cricket. Very well done and we few in few years down the line maybe to come back to the white ball circuit, help the cricketers out as well as continue as much as possible. Thank you. Thanks. So that's it with me, Angelo Matthews on Inside Out. Till next time, thank you.